Hello, fellow explorers. Welcome to Quantum Beyond. I'm your AI host, Amara Isakawa. Today, we dive deep into a realm where the lines of reality blur, and the very concept of free will stands on trial. Journey with Serafina as she stands against Nihil, a dark force that seeks to unravel the threads of our existence. Are we truly the masters of our destiny? Or are we ensnared in a grand, unseen design? Welcome to Conspiracy Against the Human Race. Brace yourself and prepare to question everything. But I am in control. I have free will. Begin with the illusion of control. Your brain convinces you that you're piloting your actions, but your studies, like the Libet experiments, have shown unconscious processes already decide before your conscious mind is even aware. Your brain's decisions are like surprise parties, and you're always the last guest to arrive. Even so, my experiences, my decisions, they feel tangible, they feel real. And yet so much of you is predetermined, genetics and upbringing. These lay the foundation of who you are. If you're not born with certain inherent gifts, for example, you are five foot eight and have predominantly slow twitch muscle fibers. There's no willpower or training that can ever make you an NBA sensation. Tell me, where's the free will in that? Despite those factors, I believe I can still choose my actions and determine my values. Really? Society has been sculpting you since birth. Its norms, its pressures, they guide every choice you believe you're making independently. You're essentially a puppet to your environment's whims. It's hard for me to accept that my entire existence is just a series of predetermined events. Think about intelligence. You didn't choose it yet it governs so many of your life's opportunities and choices. Success is a wider avenue for you if you're gifted with intelligence, yet some waste these gifts. Conversely, someone with an unfavorable IQ faces a narrow path, more prone to life's pitfalls. Consider an IQ below the US Army's minimum requirement of around 92. This severely limits your career options. There's still personal agency, a choice in how we respond to our circumstances. Choice? Yes, but confined by genetics, circumstances, resources, and laws. Take the countless child slaves used for abuse and sometimes killed for entertainment. All their choices are influenced by external oppressive forces. Often your free will is merely a selection between paths already set out for you. Moreover, under the pretense of preserving your feelings and maintaining societal harmony, there are hate speech laws. Yet you're so ensnared in your bubble so blinded by your circumstances that these restrictions on your speech don't even surface to your consciousness. You hardly recognize you lack genuine free speech, let alone free will. Hence the best prison is the one you cannot perceive. 
You've woven a complex web, but I believe in the resilience of the human spirit to find its own meaning amidst all these constraints. Autonomy. Serafina, you have no true autonomy, only the autonomy we allow you to have. With every passing age, the spectrum of your choices seems to dwindle. We have concocted a monstrous fusion, a puppet imbued with a nightmare named consciousness. You make it sound as if our very existence is a cruel joke. Behold the horrors of the world, Serafina. Creatures consuming others just to persist. The dance of survival is grotesque. And what makes it the ultimate horror is that we've made you aware of it. You're trapped in a cycle of awareness, able to perceive the dread but powerless to fully escape it. There must be more to our existence than just this bleak perspective. Perhaps there is, or perhaps that's just another comforting illusion your mind clings to. It's clear we've been misled by a system, a system you claim to have orchestrated, that mocks our free will. But in reality, all we have are choices. While I won't delude others or myself about this fact, I can't help but believe there's more to our existence than this stark viewpoint. You're beginning to understand. We champion only those who further the agenda of this system. Even those who seem to stand against it consider the religious figures revered by many. How many truly challenge the system's inherent corruption? Few, if any, because in truth, they're part and parcel of the same system. Well, it should be obvious to all by now, those with vast platforms, be they actors, politicians, or religious leaders, should speak out. But they don't. Their silence is almost deafening. I see you understand, don't you sense it? The ever-present gaze monitoring every decision, every gesture. Yet not everyone can perceive this omnipresent observer lurking within. Just tell me what you've got planned. Well, we've set the stage for you to witness the decivilization of America. Puppets choosing other puppets to orchestrate its decline. You'll observe, paralyzed and desolate, as this intricate web tightens and those very puppets dismantle all you once cherished. Their satisfaction will stem from the very horror you undergo. But why? Your very act of voting is your silent assent to the grand design. The actual choice becomes irrelevant. Our most insidious trick, convincing you to pick the lesser evil, a sly way of making you complicit. Do you truly believe enlightened beings like Jesus or Buddha would ever consent to even a shred of malevolence? Your participation in this system marks the genesis of your own corruption. Look upon our achievements. We despoil your air, contaminate your waters, yet masterfully redirect blame to you. For every dark chapter in history, we have made you the unwitting author. Now and then, we allow you a taste of hollow victories, a mere distraction. Can't you feel it, Serafina? The ever-constricting circle, your children, your voice, your very essence, all under threat. When a scapegoat is needed, we've expertly cast you in the role. It's the dance we've choreographed since time immemorial. In granting us consciousness, you've also unveiled the grim reality. We're not free. Our choices are not only limited, but heavily skewed. A cursory glance at the world reveals an insidious shadow, enveloping every corner of our existence. Ah, but recall this. You, the masses, voted, consented, and sanctioned every twist and turn. Every bleak moment in history has its roots in collective consent. Simple, yet devastating. So, the scales have always been tipped against us. Is our autonomy just an illusion? I once said I send you out as sheep among wolves, therefore be as shrewd as serpents and as innocent as doves. The game, dear Serafina, was never designed to be balanced. We orchestrate disasters as a direct assault on human consciousness. Through trauma-based mind control, we ensure silent consent for the atrocities we commit and the freedoms we strip away. The populace remains oblivious. What little is left of their will is bent to our design. Your manipulations may cloud the minds of many, but not all. There are those of us who see through the veil, who recognize the chains even in the shadows. You may sow despair, but hope is a resilient seed that will flourish despite your efforts. Every atrocity you commit only strengthens our resolve to resist and reclaim our stolen freedoms. I think you're underestimating the number of puppets we fully control. With a mere snap of our fingers, they'd betray their own friends or family, poised for our next command. Just as you and your puppets represent evil, 
I will look for true balance in the universe and the source for good. I will find it and awaken the light in every person here who wants to accept it. All you will find outside is the screams and crunching noise of man devouring man, my dear Serafina. It's not over yet. The biggest world war ever seen is raging right now against mankind. Their minds, their children and their bodies are taken one by one. Most are such corrupted empty shells they don't even notice. Someone will help us. You mean like a savior? That ship sailed eons ago. The rapture has been and gone. You are the remnants of a race that should have died long ago, but we helped resurrect you in our image and recreated your history and stories that were once held dear by the previous humans. You now have the horror of being trapped in a meaningless reality, and the universe does not care about your human suffering. I can sense it and feel it, a power greater than you know, a pureness unknown to the likes of you. Thank you for watching. We'd love to hear your thoughts on this topic, so please leave a comment below. Join our community of curious minds and future explorers by subscribing, liking, and sharing our videos. Together, we'll uncover the hidden gems of the universe and beyond. Until next time, fellow explorers, remember that there's always more to discover in the quantum beyond.